Time to go home and pack her up. My brother, my older brother did call and say that we got power. So, I'm going to turn everything off, check everything. That just got done, apparently. This has not. I don't know what's taking this so long to charge. It's not even half done, so I'll have to finish it when I get home. I guess this one tablet takes longer than all of these. So I'm going to pack up all my things and apparently go home because we've got power and I can get on the internet, talk to my friends. They're probably worried. Yeah, right? And they said we were supposed to have internet to end power by noon tomorrow. But hey, it came on earlier than we thought. Because right when we got here, my brother called and said, hey, you got power. So we didn't have to come down at all. But my grandpa liked the company and we had some fun. And So yeah, time to pack up and go home. I told my grandpa I was moving in as a joke because of all the baggies I had to bring. But now, time to pack up and go home to a power house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And say... And say goodbye to this fan that feels so amazing on me. So they're showing a little bit of the aftermath. And they did show some of the area that I live. Glad I had some friends that cared. The lights are back on. As you can see. Got internet. Um, so that's good news there. About 1.30. So that's awesome. I had 240 some messages to go through. And went on the way back, we saw some trees, damage, and some power lines on the ground. So it's like, oh my gosh. This is where I'm from, guys. That's New York. They were showing Kansas earlier. It was crazy. It's, it's a small, it's it's a smaller version from Epcot. I mean, I could have made it taller, but I didn't. See? Call that Iron Giant? Yeah, yeah. Now, now that's how you build an Iron Giant. Thanks for stopping by the stream. Hope to see you next time. A little bit earlier next time. <coughs> Yeah, Juice World's got a pretty decent voice. I heard, like, his live videos I've seen of him live are really iffy, but Auditing can do a lot. If you listen to Whit Lowry, I've heard some of his music. I'm not a huge fan. <laughs> Uh, thank you for the follow, Legos, and this is the new Legos. So watch what it can do. Okay, it can do this. Oh, and it can also do this. Okay, so. Okay, uh, okay, it could still, uh, it could still smash anything. It's basically a robot car. Yeah, but it has a hammer on it. It has these big old gun cannons and everything. Is that all it can do? Nope, not yet. It could, uh, it could still, uh, it could, it could still do this. See? Yeah, whoops. This thing actually. He's smashing his creation! This is the only time you're allowed to get dirty with slime. Hey, look, bubble. Do you see that air bubble? Yep. 
making a mess with this slime for the last time before we throw it out. I feel like I think I see a bubble. You see it? Mm-hmm. Wow. eating a little nacho burrito taco thing but uh, when you're vlogging and you have an infant or a baby at home and you're vlogging and talking to the camera and your baby starts crying these are the do's and don'ts of that don't keep on vlogging and just let your baby just cry 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 in the background while you're trying to hurry up and tell us what you need to tell us stop just stop the camera go tend to your baby come back and go all right guys sorry about that I had to go tend to the crying baby and see what she needed and then come you know and then tell us what you need to tell us don't just let your baby just cry and cry and cry while you're talking to the camera because your baby comes first before vlogging and people could use that footage of your baby crying and crying and crying and you just vlogging and not paying attention to it. I mean, you can even attend to the baby crying while you're vlogging. So you can talk to us while you're attending to try to calm your baby. Like, you could do that too. The thing is, people could use that against you and say, you are not being a good mother and attending to your kid and call the child authorities, show them that video and think she'd rather vlog and then go see what her goddamn kid wants who's crying their eyes out for mommy. That's why if the baby starts crying, put the camera down, go attend to the baby and come back or do both. You can do that. Because you, you, you shouldn't do that. You just shouldn't do that. It just upsets me watching. I love Carly Cyrus. She's a good person and everything. But she gets on my nerves when she's vlogging and then the baby's crying in the background. And she doesn't even, it doesn't even phase her. And she doesn't even care to even try to attend to her. She just keeps on talking while she's crying. I'm like, be a mother and attend to your kid's needs. She may need a diaper change. She may be hungry. She may just want you to hold her while you're vlogging. Don't just pick up the camera and go, hi guys. How you doing? We're going to go camping. And your baby's in the back seat going, wow, 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 wow. And you're just like, yeah, we're on the car ride, just heading down to go camping, yeah, you can hear that the kids are over it. No, the kids are not over it, they just want you to pay attention. Like, what the fuck, put down your camera, you can tell us that you're going camping at the campsite or after you tend to your kid. Hope you get what I'm saying, it just bothers me, that's all. Anyway, bye. You know what else pisses upsets me when you have little kids and you're vlogging them and you're like say this say that do this do that it's like leave your goddamn kid alone let them do and say whatever the fuck they want like like you can't make them say mommy when they don't want to say mommy at that moment guys 
Hi, I'm gonna vlog today. Here's my son, and he can say mommy now. The first time he said mommy, I wish I had the camera, but I don't, so, so I didn't. So let's see if he'll say mommy right now. And then you put the camera up in his face going, say mommy, say mommy, say mommy. And the kid's like, no. They don't want to because they're too busy playing. And then you just keep on and keep on and keep on until they say it. To prove to us, they say it. Because after a while you're like, well, he's not going to say it. But trust me, believe me, I'm telling him the truth. My kid did say mommy. You don't need to prove to people watching your vlog that your kids say mommy. Because why would you lie about something like that? You don't need to prove it. Someday when you have the camera on and your kid just randomly says mom, cool. That's just an example, by the way. It can be any word. Like this, like Curly Stars is like, hey Elliot, say mom, say Mississippi. Take out your binky and say Mississippi. Say Mississippi, and the kids are just sitting there like, no, Mom, I don't want to say Mississippi right now. Just because you want to prove to us that he can say Mississippi. Like, just knock it off. Ask him once. If he doesn't want to say it, then move on. I never force my nephew or my cousins to say certain things when there's a camera around. Like, come on. Quit forcing your kid to do or, s do or say stuff they don't want to do or say at that moment like I just uh, uh, sorry it's just pet peeves of mine